Oh boy, I just cannot contain my excitement here today because I finally get to hit Cataclysm tier in WWE Supercard, which I'm quite excited about. I have been waiting for quite some time to hit Cataclysm tier, and today it finally happens, ladies and gentlemen. And let's just address the elephant in the room here really quick. I'm sure most of you guys have noticed since the start of the video that I do have a brand new layout. That's right, guys. I wanted to come up with something a little bit more simple, a little bit more clean than my previous layout. And it's not that I hate my previous layout. I actually think my previous layout was probably the best layout that I ever made. I mean, come on, guys. The colors were great. It just looked really awesome. It was a very creative layout. And in case you're new to the channel and don't know what my previous layout looked like, uh, let's check it out here really quick. So this is what it looked like, guys. And uh, the reason why I wanted to go with something more simple is because for a while, a lot of people were saying, oh, the gameplay screen is too small, I can't really see the packs too well, and also my camera is quite small for this layout too, so that's why I wanted to go with something a little bit cleaner and much more to the point so you guys could see my reactions better, and so of course you guys could see the gameplay screen a little bit better as well, and I think this layout does the trick just fine. Uh, but anyways guys, uh, not only will I be hitting Cataclysm tier and pulling my freebie in this video, but I also have some other things to do in the video as well. I'm going to be opening up a Grand Challenge Reward Pack, another You Must Be This Tall Pack, and maybe some other things we will see here in just a little bit. But of course, before I get into doing this stuff, make sure if you do go on to enjoy what you see in this video to smash that like button, smash it as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver, hit it with a Tombstone Pile Driver, hit it with an F5 for my boy Brock Lesnar becoming the new Universal Champion uh, just a couple days ago. I'm quite happy about that, by the way, because of course he is my favorite superstar. Uh, but anyways, guys, uh, with that being said, if you're new around here, of course, subscribe, Turn on the bell as well. I would greatly appreciate it because we are trying to hit 18,000 subscribers here on the channel. And uh, it's been a really rough climb to 18,000. So if you could please subscribe and turn on the bell, it would greatly be appreciated. You know, I do upload daily Supercard videos here to the channel. So uh, if you guys enjoy Supercard, this is the channel to subscribe to because you guys could look forward to something new every single day. Uh, but anyways, with that being out of the way now, let's finally hop into the Supercard action. Sorry if that introduction was a little bit long. My intros always seem to be a little bit long because I like to tell you guys what's going on in the video. Uh, but anyways, guys, we are going to start this video off by actually opening up my You Must Be This Tall pack. I know a lot of people say, don't open these packs, stop being lazy, just open the Enjoy the Ride packs, but... Personally, guys, these are a lot quicker, and I've had a lot of luck with these packs thus far, so of course I'm going to keep doing these packs, you know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, let's get into this right now, and let's see what I end up getting here, ladies and gentlemen. So I end up scoring myself, ah, oh, another Shattered Sting, so that is quite disappointing. I already have this card pro up, so... Nothing really exciting here for me, you know what I mean? Well, let me know if you've gotten that card before down in the comment section below. But anyways, moving along now, we now have the Grand Challenge Reward Pack to open up here. You know what? No. Scratch that idea. We'll come back to this after I hit Cataclysm tier because if I wait, I'll have a chance to get some Cataclysm superstars from this instead of just WrestleMania 35s. So it's just better to wait until I hit Cataclysm tier to open this pack. So I will come back to this in just a little bit. Um, the next thing I guess we'll get into doing here is proing up my cards so I actually could get into Cataclysm tier. Let's get into doing that right now. I have two Summer Fusions to pro up, and I have Nia Jax to pro up as well. And uh, don't cringe here with Nia Jax, guys, because uh, the one's completed with the matches, but the other one isn't. I'm just kind of impatient. I kind of just want to get her proed up already and hit Cataclysm tiers. So it looks like I'm just not going to be finishing the matches for the second Nia Jax. But before I get into proing Nia Jax, let's get into proing my Summer Fusion cards first. And uh, up first here, guys, we got the glorious one himself. Bobby Roode with his very awesome mustache. So let's get into proing him here really quick. All right, bada boom, and let's get into proing Tyler Breeze now. All right, bada boom once again. All right, and uh, now guys, that just leaves us with Nia Jax. Are you guys ready for this? I mean, I'm certainly ready, of course, because I just want to hit Cataclysm tier already. And uh, you know, once I level up these cards. That will do it, baby. So uh, let's get into proing Nia Jax here right now. 
All right, guys, and there she is. This is so exciting. I will be right back once I'm done leveling up these cards, and we will be in Cataclysm tier. Or maybe not. I did have a very bad feeling that this would actually happen, and it did. We are right at the end of WrestleMania 35++. plus plus. I mean, personally, I think this deck is good enough to qualify for Cataclysm tier. I mean, I know I still do have this single in my deck, but still, I mean, come on, guys. This deck should definitely be good enough to qualify for Cataclysm tier, but don't you worry because I do have one momentum slot that I am going to throw Nia Jax under so once I put her under momentum that will put us into Cataclysm tier. It's so frustrating that I even have to use a momentum slot or rely on a momentum slot to hit Cataclysm but this is what it comes down to folks so let's just put Nia Jax under there really quick and finally get into Cataclysm tier. Holy freaking cow, I'm probably going to have to refresh my game because it's not going to update right away. So what did I tell you guys? That one momentum slot did work. I am now a Cataclysm player uh, due to that momentum slot, and uh, I'm barely even in Cataclysm, even with this Nia Jax being under momentum. Like, I'm just a teensy smidge into Cataclysm. Like, it's ridiculous, guys. But at least I made it there. I know now that I need at least one momentum slot to remain a Cataclysm player until I could get another WrestleMania 35 Pro female or even a Cataclysm Pro female. Uh, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But anyways, guys, now let's move into opening up this Grand Challenge Reward Pack. And let's see what I get. And then right after this, I'll get into pulling my Cataclysm freebie. Sound good to you guys? Sounds good to me. Alright, so let's get into opening this right now, folks. And let's see if I will get a Cataclysm card. So here we go in three, two, one. All right, guys, so no Cataclysm card, but look at this, guys. WrestleMania 35 City and, you know, one Shattered card, of course, which is Sheamus. All right, so I will definitely be getting a WrestleMania 35 Superstar, at least, which is quite cool. All right, so WrestleMania 35 Speed, WrestleMania 35 Walter, that's actually a pro for me. I wish I could have gotten another pro female, though. You know, that would have been really nice. Uh, but anyways, guys, Walter and a WrestleMania 35 Speed yet again. And you want to know the crappy part, guys? I actually didn't even play this last PvP, as you guys can see here. Did not play it at all. I'm kind of sick of Royal Rumble, to be quite honest with you. So I will be losing my Cataclysm uh, spot here in the game until I get, you know, another Momentum or another Pro Female, which is quite unfortunate. Uh, but anyways, guys. Guys, let's get into, um, you know, finding this freebie pool here. Let's play a wild mode game here, and uh, let's see if I could get this uh, freebie pool here on my first try. That would be really nice. All right, so here we go. We're going to start this off with Mankind. It's a power match, and, uh, you know, obviously we do win this one. All right, and now uh, Rick Rude. Toughness, we win yet again. Probably going to get a perfect game here, it looks like. All right, and to finish it off here with Braun Strowman, and I do get a perfect game. Let's go, people. All right, three guaranteed picks here from the board. Let's see if I could get it here on my first try. All right, here we go, guys. Will it happen? Will it happen? No, it does not happen. You know what? I actually have a better idea. Instead of doing another wild mode match, let's just go into Money in the Bank here really quick. And I'll just do, you know, I'll just buy some draft picks and stuff like that until we get it. We'll probably get it here on this next one. All right. So here we go, guys. Let's see what we get if we get it. Okay. I thought I was going to get it there. All right. Okay. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, we get Keith Lee. Eh, not a very uh, great Cataclysm freebie. I, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, not a pro, not a very good card in my opinion, and I don't know much about Keith Lee because I don't follow NXT or anything like that. Um, so I am quite disappointed there with my freebie pull. I was hoping for something a little bit better. You know, another Candice LeRae for a pro would have been nice so I could keep my Cataclysm spot, but, you know, that didn't happen. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's actually all I have here for the video. I do want to thank you all so much for watching the video. If you did go on to enjoy it, of course, make sure you do smash that like button as hard as you physically could with your favorite finishing maneuver. You know, put the like button through a table, push it off the top of Hell in a Cell, whatever you guys want to do with that like button, just make sure you do smash it. And also be sure to subscribe if you're new around here for more awesome videos coming just like this one. And if you never want to miss out on anything I upload here on the channel, 
make sure you also turn on that post notification bell to join the Cola squad here on YouTube, which is the Nullification squad. That'd be awesome if you guys could do that. Let's hit 18,000 subscribers, guys. I know we could do it here very soon, but I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day or night, and I'll catch you in my next Supercard video or live stream. Take care and peace out, guys.